Hello everyone, this is Dee from Me Academy. In this video, we will talk about some of the more uh, theorems of interior point of a set in a topological space. So the statement is if X and Tau is a topological space and there are two subsets of X, let's say, and B, then the statement says that interior of A intersection with interior of B, we can also write it as interior of A intersection interior of B is equal to interior of A intersection B which means that A intersection B and interior if we're interior of A intersection B so this is the actual theorem that if there are two subsets of X then the interior of both of the sets and taking the intersection of the interior of them is equal to intersection of the sets and taking the interior of that set. For this we have to prove two things. The very first thing is that A interior intersection B interior is a subset of A interior A intersection B interior and the second thing that we have to prove is that A interior intersection B interior is a superset of of A intersection B interior or we can also say that A interior A intersection B interior is a subset of A interior intersection B interior. So we have to prove this and this in order to prove this that A intersection B interior is equal to A interior intersection B interior. So let's start proving this. So the very first thing that we have to prove is that the A interior intersection B interior is a subset of A intersection B interior. So we'll take a point A from A interior intersection B interior. Because A is a part of the intersection of A interior and B interior, which means that A is, is a part of A interior and a is also a part of B interior. So there are two cases. The very first case is that if A belongs to A interior, we can use the definition of the interior point. That is, there exists an open set U. Such that A belongs to U and U is a subset of A. And for this second case, uh, we can also use the definition of of the interior point that there exists an upper neighborhood of of B that contains A and is a subset of B. Because we are talking about the intersection of A and B, so the open neighborhoods have to be distinguished from one another. So let's say this is U1, that U1 is a subset of A and belongs to uh, that tau and contains that point A. And for this, there is an upper neighborhood U2 that is a subset of B and contains that set, that point A. So if, if X is a topological space and there are two subsets A and B of X, and we are saying that A belongs to the intersection of, of A interior and B interior. And for A, there is an open set U1 and for B, there is an open set U2, which means that the set or the point A is, is a member of U2 and U1 as well. So, if there is a set U1 in A, that is a subset of A, and there is a set U2 in, in B, So the point is the common case in both of them. So it may be like here, this black dot is A, right? So this is A. Because A is the part of the intersection of both of the sets, U1 and U2. So let's define a set, let's say, 
u is equal to u1 intersection u2 and because u1 is an open set and u2 is also an open set so the intersection of an open set uh, intersection of two open sets is also open this implies that u also belong to that topology and is open from Venn diagram it is easy to understand that A is a part of that U because U1 contains that point A and U2 contains that point A as well. So if A belongs to U1 and A belongs to U2 then this information implies that A also belongs to that point U. So A belongs to U that is A is a part of U1 intersection U2 and U1 is a subset of A and U2 is a subset of B. So we can also write it as A that belongs to U is a subset of, of A intersection B because this U is also lie in that intersection. This is the whole intersection of A union B. So this U is a part of A intersection B and is a subset of A, a intersection B. So now we can use the property of the interior point as we used in the previous theorem. A belongs to that intersection of A and B. Then A also belongs to the interior of, of A intersection B. Or we can also write it as we can also write it as A and belongs to A intersection B interior. Why? Because interior of any set is a subset of that set. If A belongs to that set, which means that A also belongs to the interior of that set. So we have proved that if A initially was a member A interior intersection B interior and by using the definitions of, of interior points and open sets, eventually we have this information in the end that A is also a part of A intersection B interior which implies that A interior intersection B interior is a subset of A intersection B interior as we did in the previous video of this theorem that A interior union B interior is a subset of A union B interior and we picked a member from this set and eventually we have proved that that member also a member of this set. So we have proved on the same lines that A interior intersection B interior is a subset of A intersection B interior. So our first part of this theorem has been proved now. So moving toward the other part. The second part states that A intersection B interior is, is a subset of A interior intersection B interior. So let's take a point A from that A interior, A intersection B interior. So again by using the definition, we can say that there exists an open neighborhood U such that A is a member of that open neighborhood and is a subset of A intersection B. This states that that open set is a subset of A intersection B. That is, X is a topological space. A and B are two random subsets of X. There is a point that belongs to A intersection B such that there is an open set U that contains that point and U is a subset of A intersection B. So the thing is U is a part of A we can also say that u is a subset of a from this because if we are looking at just the set a then u is a subset of that set a and if you're looking at the set b then u is a set of we can also say that u is a subset of the set b so the open set u that open set u or the open neighborhood of a in a intersection b that is this whole thing a intersection b is also an open neighborhood of, of in A and open neighborhood of A in B. This means that A that belongs to the set A, we can also say that 
from from this information that if a belongs to the set a then this implies that a also belongs to the interior of a because we know this property of the interior and same the case with b that if a belongs to b then this implies that a also belongs to b interior because b interior subset of b so a belongs to b interior and a also belongs to the a interior this also can be write it as that from all the information we can get a is also a member of a interior intersection b interior if a is a part of a interior and a is also a part of b interior then both of this information tells us that a is also a part of a intersection a interior intersection b interior so initially a was a part of a intersection b interior and in the end by using the definitions we have proved that a is also a part of a interior intersection b interior eventually we have proved that by all of the information that a intersection b interior is a subset of of a interior intersection b interior and we have also proved the second second part of this theorem and in the first part we have proved that a interior intersection b interior is a subset of a intersection b interior and we have proved both of the parts of this theorem and we know that if a is a subset of b and b is a subset of a then this information implies that the both of sets are eventually equal so from this let's say this is a set c and this is a set d c is a subset of d and d is also a subset of c so this information implies that a intersection b interior is equal to a interior intersection b interior that can also be right as interior of of a intersection b is equal to interior of a intersection interior of b so we have proved this theorem and this is for now if you're looking for more such videos then you can subscribe this channel so you can watch more upcoming videos we can meet in the next video till then take care goodbye